So the official RG Global livestream finished just moments ago and confirmed what so many of us have been waiting for, which is the announcement of a brand new RG Ally for 2024 called the RG Ally X. Let's break down the five improvements to the handheld that was discussed, the two existing features that were confirmed for this new RG Ally X, plus the seven key features of this biggest ever update in version 1.5 to Army Crate. So let's dive straight in and yes, so it has been confirmed that the name of the upcoming ROG Ally in 2024 will be called the ROG Ally X. And this was described as having significant improvements. And they specifically named five areas which sees these improvements to the handheld. Improvement number one is the battery. And it was described as not being improved by just a little bit, but instead the battery on this new ROG Ally X will be, and I quote, very good. As we know, we currently get around one and a half hours for AAA demanding games. So could this new RG Ally X stretch to say two and a half to three hours perhaps? And for very lightweight games, currently it's about two and a half to three hours. So could we maybe see five hours on the Ally X? Let us know what acceptable battery life you want to see on this new model in the comments. The second area of improvement they mentioned was to storage. And as we know, the current Ally ships with 512GB of SSD, so could there perhaps be a new 1TB model on the way? The third area that was discussed was RAM. Now the current model has 16GB, and I know that many of you in the comments, like one of our great viewers, Concho Bar, have requested 32GB, so this is very possible. The fourth area that they vaguely alluded to was ports. So could we see an additional USB-C port perhaps like our great viewer Frank and many in our community would love to see? Well, we hope to Frank, we really do hope. And the fifth improvement area was incredibly vague, but, and I quote, physical changes to the device itself was mentioned. So this could perhaps mean an even lighter device, a bit more grip perhaps, but I think we can all agree the SD card slot will probably be moved well away from the heat vents to fix the biggest screw up since this. You got a 33 and a third chance of winning, but I, I got a 66 and two thirds chance of winning. So small Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning at 66 and two thirds percent. I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. The numbers don't lie. So there were two features that this brand new upcoming RG Ally X were confirmed to be the exact same as found on the current RG Ally. The first is that it'll have the same exact Z1. Oops, sorry user, not Z1, I mean Z1. Extreme chip as the current model, so if you were hoping for a more powerful and more efficient Z2 Extreme chip, then you may be disappointed. And the second confirmed feature of this new Ally X will be keeping the fantastic VRR display that truly is one of the very best features of the Ally. June 2nd was announced as the official reveal date of the RG Ally X with much more precise and in-depth details including what I assume loads of pictures, videos and an official trailer of the handheld for us all to see. So it was stated that the RG Ally X will ship with an updated Armory Crate in version 1.5, which was described, and I quote, as a fairly big overhaul with some new features. Key info one is a very welcome piece of news, and that is a brand new 1.5 update to Armory Crate will not just be limited to the new RG Ally X, but will also be available for us existing OG Ally users. This is so good, with them specifically stating that ASUS are still very committed to supporting the original model. Key info too is that they note that the ASUS team have been testing the beta version within their team, with the final public release of this confirmed to be July, which thankfully isn't very far off. And so does this mean that the RG Ally X will be shipping in July perhaps? What was interesting is that in the live stream they were unable to show off a live demo version, only screenshots. And it was a little unclear whether this was due to the fact that it isn't in a stable enough state to be shown off, which is a little bit worrying, or whether they're just told enough for a proper reveal of it. 
key info 3 is that they highlighted a cleaner view with more tabs at the top and you can now add certain games to a favourites list for a much more organised way of navigating around the game library. So this will be especially welcome for those of us with bigger libraries. The fourth key info is that there will be a brand new tab at the top called Game Platforms, where your game launches like GOG, Steam, Epic, etc. will have their very own dedicated areas for their games. Again, a huge attempt to keep things nice and neat. The fifth key info and probably the most exciting feature is a new list view option. And guys, this is incredible. We'll have a variety of new and exciting ways to view our games, including this amazing carousel style where the game artwork just completely floods the whole screen, which is very reminiscent of the huge update to the Xbox Series S and S console dashboards we had just a few months ago. And this just looks gorgeous. Not only that, but they highly touted just how customizable we can make this, with confirmed aspects being horizontal and vertical scrolling, if you want our cover art at the top, middle or at the bottom, there are 5 size options for how big we want our cover art to be too. There'll also be options to toggle on and off our game titles, whether to show the background image or not, and even percentage sliders of how much to blur and also darken our artwork in the background. Key info 6 is that we'll have new options when we press X on a game to bring up game options and a huge improvement is the new uninstall option and as we know it's kind of a pain at the moment as when we delete a game it only deletes it from showing up in Army Crate but this new 1.5 update will now take us directly to the actual prompts in fully uninstalling the game from our ally this is so good and finally, Key Info 7 is another much requested feature in Community Layouts, which is a big highlight of the Steam Deck where we'll now be able to share with others in our Ally community our custom made button configurations. An interesting point is that it was specifically mentioned in that we can export and then share these customised gamepad layouts on Reddit or Discord, but didn't seem to indicate if we can download them directly within Army Crate app itself. So we'll have to wait and see to see how this is fully implemented, but it's so exciting to see nonetheless. I'd love to hear what you think about the RG Ally X and also all of these new features in this huge 1.5 update to Army Crate, so do let us know in the comments. And as a thank you for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. The older you get, you realise just how precious life is. You have no desire for drama, conflicts or stress. You just want good friends, a cosy home, food on the table and people who make you happy. Man, I so agree with this. Life is just way too short to be stressed out with loads of drama and falling out. So just stay chilled and encouraged today, guys. And as another little treat, here's our gorgeous rescue cat pancake enjoying the sunshine. Hey, and if you enjoyed this video, I'd so appreciate leaving a like and subscribe for more. And to learn all about a new PS5 remote play app called PS Play, which may just be better than Chucky, click right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.